thank you for I'll be I'll be quick because I know that Kiss is right out the door <laughs> Well, first of all, let me introduce you to my friend Chuck Ainley here, who is a producer of the album of the year as well, and, and is um, probably one of the most decorated musician, engineer, producer of people that you'll ever know. And you can all, if you don't know him, go look him up. And I'm, I'm honored to be here with him because of these, the things that I'm working on, David Nail, I'm working with the new record with Leanne right now, and, it's, and, and he's, I'm working on him with him. So. So uh, the Leanne record is, I think, it's going to be special. It's just she's just an awesome singer, and uh, and I mean, maybe I think one of the greatest female country singers ever walked the face of the earth. And and uh, I was telling somebody outside earlier, there's another producer we were working the other day. He's a little it, bit biased. Yeah, I am a little biased. <laughs> I thought she might be out in the hall. So no, that's no, but I, so I was out in the. Uh, in the foyer at the studio the other day and there's another producer asked me what I was doing I said we were doing vocals on Leanne he said I got some advice for you he said just keep your mouth shut and and so um, I'm, it's I think it's gonna be a really neat record I think it'll be it's not a departure but I think it's different from anything she's ever done and and uh, I hope that y'all love that I'm, I'm this the winning the, the album of the year for the third time with Miranda is I mean it's it's numbing I certainly didn't expect to win I thought there were some other equally deserving records and some big stars and I was really surprised but I know that years a long time ago Miranda and I set out just to make albums and not think about what's going to happen at radio or the, I need this single or this is what I need today or this is what I need and, and I, I got to give a lot of credit for to her for for being I, I'd push that button a little bit but she would push it a lot further than I would and I got to give her credit for for uh just being just, a true artist. Yeah, just being a, a true artist, and and I mean, I, it's been a lot of fun. So. Thank you. Right here. The other one uh, that you uh, had a part in was the song of the year uh, with Eli Young. And, uh, yeah, that is just sort of a shocker. I'll tell you, the interesting thing is, before I started working with Miranda several years ago, and I knew her, and, and she was playing a, a, a bar in Dallas called the Gypsy Tea Room, and I flew to Dallas to go see her play, and the Eli Young band opened up for her. And and I had a couple of cocktails, which if, for those of y'all who know me, probably is no big shocker. But uh, I thought, you know what? Look, that guy can really sing. And I started working with them and started, and you know, just gave him money to, to to make a record and just you know, kind of unfold just to see what, you know, to see to, to help them. And I think in the early stages of their career, I really helped them. And he still worked with them as their executive producer, which means that I'm the guy that cuts up the cocaine. But no, that's a joke. But 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 anyway, I thought it was really. I don't know if the word is ironic, but no, it wouldn't be irony. But it, but it, I thought it was really neat that that the Eli Young band also produced uh, presented us with the award. And that was so yeah, cool. So. What other projects do you have in the right Well, I'm, I, I personally, uh, he's got a thousand. He's just finished a brand new Mark Knopfler record. And I personally am, am, am going to focus on finishing Leanne's record because uh, uh, that's um, Miranda. When we finish an album, she disappears for a year. When my wife and I finish a record, we go to the same place and we're done. So, how far along are you on that project? We, we we have a few background vocals to do, and then we'll be mixing. So, I mean, and it's an awesome album. I'm just like freaked out how cool it is. I, I have no idea. That's uh, th those are never questions that that, are, that that anybody asks of me, or that I really, you know. Sometimes it's kind of like making sausage. I'd rather not know. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How is the album going to be? I don't think it's a drastic change. Because she's a great singer, but and Chuck and I, and and he can talk to this when we sat down to meet with her before we recorded this record. Uh, she said, I mean, she was like a little girl. Her feet, you know, my wife's not the tallest girl in the world. And she was sitting in this chair and her feet wouldn't even hit the ground. And she was swinging her feet and she said, you know, I've never made a record where it was all about me. It was all about me. And I was just in the middle. 
and this is not in, in, in any, I mean, by any means, it's just that you grow as an artist, you want to do different things. And she wanted something wide open. So immediately we just figured out right there, we're going to, we tracked the record. Uh, originally, the first handful of sides was six people, and the second, the rest of it with four people. So there, it's a very sparse record, and hopefully her voice is wide open and right in the middle of it, and just that's the focus and uh, you know and we didn't we didn't get too worried about songs as far as what um you know whatever what we needed what's the next step what she needed to say or whatever we just went and took a bunch of great songs that we'd amassed over the years we we've always gotten along real well song wise 